first of all, I like to thank AgTech and Network Pay to give us a wonderful opportunity to present in front of such prestigious audience. And I like to thank all of you for taking out time for this presentation. about what NLP CAPTCHA is. NLP CAPTCHA is an innovative digital platform to advertise on the web. And we're trying to resolve some fundamental problems which the current ecosystem is facing. And I'll start the presentation by pointing out those uh, fundamental problems which we think will, will be able to resolve to an extent by NLP CAPTCHA. This is not, there's some confusion, I think. This is not my presentation. This is the next one. Reigning digital trends. This is a typical home page of most of the content websites. We started calculating how much space is being taken by the advertis advertisements, right? 13% by this banner, 12%, 10%, 5%. This is actual calculation. So in total, you can see that 52% of screen space has been covered with advertisements. So publisher should be happy. He should be making a lot of money. And same applies for the advertiser. He has got so much screen space. But what we know that still the advertiser is not satisfied, neither is the publisher, and nor is the end user. The reason being, advertiser knows that most of these banners have turned into blind spots. And he does not know or does not have a mechanism to grab attention. For the publisher, that he, he has no mechanism to give guaranteed attention to the advertisers. That's why the entire revenue model is moving towards performance driven. CPC, CPL, cost per action, lots of performance parameters. And he is not earning enough money out of these performance based revenue models as he used to earn from the CPM models. And for the end user, he's totally confused. What has he come for? Is it the ads or is it the content? So how do we resolve this issue? Here comes in CAPTCHA. This is a typical traditional CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA is a security tool which you will find in almost each and every website, primarily to prevent spam. It has been there for ages, but a very important advantage of this CAPTCHA which we were missing out is undisputed, undivided attention. A person spends at least 10 to 15 seconds focusing on the screen, trying to figure out what is written, and again typing it. So what we are trying to do is, let's not uh, waste these focused eyeballs. Let's try to monetize them. This is a typical CAPTCHA. What NLP CAPTCHA does is, instead of these distorted characters, we serve an ad out there. On the basis of that ad, there is a question. The person sees the ad, gets the question, fills it. This is what NLP CAPTCHA is all about in nutshell, combining security with advertisement. Right. So, we see that it is a win-win situation for the entire ecosystem, starting with the publisher. Publisher has got an altogether new premium inventory, which has been created out of the dead inventory, or I'll say the inventory which did not exist earlier. And it is a premium inventory because he has got a mechanism to guarantee attention to the advertiser. He does not have to incur any cost for it, and it is totally uh, directly adds to the bottom line. We, we are using natural language processing for this. For this. And that is what we have filed a patent for. And at the end of the day, it's a much better user experience. Coming to the advertiser, advertiser is loving it because he is sure that the person has seen the ad. Not only seen the ad, but he has actually typed in the brand message which the advertiser wants to communicate. There's been study done by Wharton which claims if we uh, compare traditional banners versus CAPTCHA advertisements, the recall increases by as much as 1,200%. 12, he pays only for the number of CAPTCHAs filled in, and there is no risk of fraudulent clicks because you don't charge for it. And the CTR in this case is as high as 25%, which means that out of every 100 people filling in the CAPTCHAs, 25 people tend to click on it and explore it further. Now coming on to the end user, we did a, we know advertiser is happy, publisher is happy, but how is end user taking it? We did a primary research with around 250 people, and the results were really good. 91% of users preferred NLP CAPTCHA over those traditional irritating traditional CAPTCHAs. And 70% associated a content value to it, which means that rather than wasting my 10 to 15 seconds, if I can get an, some value, maybe I come to know about the latest offer or something, 
that adds value to me. So now I'll uh, coming on to the various formats in which CAPTCHA can be presented. First is the basic standard CAPTCHA wherein the person is asked to type in some message which is there in the advertisement and uh, the person types it and it leads to a very high recall. But the CAPTCHA solutions doesn't stop here. Moving on to the next, we, we have launched in case line of CAPTCHAs wherein the person is not even supposed to type anything. He just sees something, he has to click something or he has to you know, uh, answer a question or he has to just slide something. Uh, can we just uh, switch on the screen? Yeah. So this is a typical example. We did a campaign for Lions 3G. The question is, click on the moving bot. Lions 3G wanted to promote its blue bot and they wanted to communicate that you can chat with nine people uh, uh, simultaneously. So the person just needs to click on the bot and and uh, it is validated. Can we go to the next tab? So this is a question based CAPTCHA wherein you know the Oral B is promoting its power toothbrush. So the person we ask the person a question. What kind of what will be your preferred toothbrush? He has just asked to click on manual and power. Can you just click on power? See, the, uh, CAPTCHA is validated and the message which the advertiser wants to communicate is uh, conveyed. Third tab. Fourth, next. This is on the same line. Next. You can move, switch to the back screen. Next, we have already launched video based captures, wherein we combine the functionality of text, click, both of them into a common thing. Uh, I'm sorry, you'll have to switch the screen again. To the uh, browser. So this is a question. Click on Dairy Milk to reveal the security code. Just click on Dairy Milk. So there's a click element, and a video starts running. After a couple of seconds, there is a message which the person has to fill in, as in "kuch pita ho jaye," which gives guarantee to the advertiser that the person has seen the ad as well as uh, filled in the captcha. Next. So the next type of CAPTCHA is a research CAPTCHA wherein the, it is the fastest way to, ga uh, to get authentic information about what people think of your brand. I put in anything, any brand, I ask the person to type in any word. So it is the fastest way to get authentic information about your brand, what people are thinking about your brand. So coming on to our current status, we, are, we have tied up with almost all the leading publishers of the country, whether it is Indian Express, Hindu, Chronicle. We're reaching to around 25 million UVs per month, and that is across per, uh, verticals, news, finance, e-commerce, travel, Bollywood. We are serving more than 300 million CAPTCHAs per month, and we target to cross a billion mark very soon, out of which one million is the number which is solved CAPTCHAs per month, and 30% of our invest, uh, inventory is from outside India. This is the vertical-wise breakup. We have reached across all the verticals with news, very strong presence in news and e-commerce. The kind of audience we have, we have very strong presence in the youth, which is uh, the young audience, I'll say, in the age group of 18 to 34. A list of some of our leading publishers. A list of some of our leading advertisers. You'll see most of the leading, uh, leading advertisers, national advertisers, have already uh, using this platform to reach out to their digital audience, and the pull factor is increasing at a very rapid pace. So I'll just try to summarize the journey so, so far for us. December 2011, NLP CAPTCHA launched. It was a typical chicken and egg situation. What will you get first, whether you will get a publisher or an advertiser? But we were able to solve it in the mid of January, where we got the first set of publishers. In, towards the end of January, we got our first set of advertisers. March, we crossed 100 million mark. May, we crossed 200 million mark. End of May, we tied up with the leading brand-based ad network in the country. We in June, we launched Engage line of CAPTCHAs. In July, we launched Video CAPTCHAs. In August, we launched, we crossed 300 mark and launched Research CAPTCHAs. So the growth has been from 0 million to 300 million in a matter of nine months. And our revenues are growing at more than 50% per month on month. The way forward, we look forward to strengthen our publisher network even further. We try, we are moving towards where, the, where we do not sell portals to the advertiser. We want to sell specific PG, which they want to focus. Uh, 
uh, very niche audience to the advertisers. We are looking to scale uh, geographically already in the last stages of tying up, uh, starting the operations in MENA region and some Southeast East Asian countries. And obviously, lead by innovation, like these have been a uh, format of CAPTCHAs which we have launched till date. But within the eco same ecosystem, we feel that a lot more things can be done. So offerings in pipeline is engagement solutions for mobiles and tabs. They, these video solutions can be used for as pre-roll solutions instead of video solutions. And definitely some very interesting stuff in form of wherein the publishers will get, uh, you know, get a better op opportunity to monetize their premium content as uh, compared to the normal, uh, normal content maybe by writers or something. So if the publisher is having an exclusive team to write a content, then he should have the right to monetize it also in a better way. So the last a very famous quote, which inspires us a lot, every innovation is a whim of a leap before it becomes the need of public. Thanks. Thank you so much, Amitna.